Say hello, August. We're gonna wait for everybody to start joining. Hello, everybody. Happy 420. The countdown begins. Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Don't forget to shout out your Healthy Spot location and your dog's name. Hi, Oatly and Taz. Hello, Bruno Bear. Thank you everybody for joining us. We'll get started right on the dot. Give everybody a chance to settle in, get everything you need. Hi, Cardi from WeHo. We got Callie and Merlot. Hi, Tipsy from Long Beach. And Yoda, LBC all day. Where's our Sublime fans at? Thank you for everybody joining. We're gonna be going over CBD for pets and people. We'll be joined later on by our in-house expert, Diane from Holistic Hound, formerly Holistic Hound, now our North Berkeley location. And we'll also be chatting with Equilibria Women. We'll be chatting with one of their representatives and we'll join them afterwards as well. Hang tight and we'll get started shortly. <laughs> Thank you to our Healthy Spot community marketing team for putting this together. It is a privilege to be able to share this information with everybody. Say hello August, hi everybody, hello. All right, let's see here. All right, guys, get your snacks, get your pups. We got two more minutes and then we'll get started. August and I are broadcasting live from Rock Ridge, California. We're on the border of Berkeley and Oakland. I guess we can kill some time with some fun facts. The Rockridge location is the 20th location that Healthy Spot has opened since 2008. It is an honor and privilege to be a part of the team out here. A lot of our culture and our experience at the stores is derived from the experiences that Mark and Andrew actually shared as classmates at UC Berkeley. So it's an honor to be able to be doing this from here. All right. Don't forget, shout out your dog's name, your healthy spot location, spread the love. All righty, awesome. So we'll go ahead and We'll get started here a little bit early, 419. 420 is the official time that we're starting, but we'll go ahead and get our thanks out of the way. First off, thank you Equilibria and Healthy Spa for sponsoring today's class. If you are as repeat on Eventbrite for today's event, we have a special offer that we are going to be giving with our class attendees, which is $10 off any $50 purchase in store or online plus 25% off your first purchase with Equilibria. The promo code for online $10 off $50 purchase on HealthySpot.com is WFH420. So for those of you guys who RSVP, we'll be sharing the in-store offers and promo code via email after today's event. And for those of you guys joining us now, 
If you RSVP'd on Eventbrite, we're special. We are giving a special offer for you guys. It's going to be ten dollars off any fifty dollar purchase in store or online, and twenty five percent off your first purchase with Equilibria. All right, we'll go ahead and get started then. So after today's event, if you guys would like to enter for a chance to win our CBD prize pack, you can post a photo of your pet nice and relaxed on Instagram and tag Healthy Spot and Equilibria Women, and it'll enter you guys for a chance to win our CBD price pack full of nice little goodies that are perfect for you and your pet. My name's Christine. I'm the retail uh, manager here at Rockridge, and I have been working with the company since October of 2017. Coincidentally enough, I was taking time off from UC Berkeley and I was looking for a job and Healthy Spot took me in, and so I'm happy to be back in, in the neighborhood here. And the little boy here hanging out with me today, this is my Shih Tzu Mix August. I actually adopted him at a Healthy Spot event. Uh, Pre-COVID, we used to host Sunday adoptions out of our daycares, and I used to window adopt all day long and finally found the perfect match for me. So thank you, Healthy Spot. All right. Um, so today we're going to be discussing hemp and CBD benefits for you and your pet. Our resident subject expert, Diane, We'll be discussing benefits, dosage, and product recommendations for your pet. And Autumn from Equilibria will be sharing advantages um, for humans. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to bring Diane on shortly, and we'll go ahead and get this ready to go. All right. Let's see here. Thank you, everyone. All right. Hey, Diane, good to see you. Hi, Christine. Hello, everyone. Hello. So, Diane, if you don't mind getting us started with just a little introduction about yourself, um, how long you've been with Healthy Spot, and anything else you'd like to share with us? Yeah, sure. Again, my name's Diane. Um, I am the retail manager at the North Berkeley location. I've been with Healthy Spot since October of 2019 when they acquired the, the store that was previously Holistic Hound, and I'd been there for about six years before that. So long time in the Berkeley area and um, proud to be with Healthy Spot and have some um, extra insight into the Holistic Hound brand that we're going to be talking about a little bit today. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing, Diane. And do you have any pets of your own by any chance? I oh. Sorry, guys. Looks like we're having a little bit of technical difficulties. We'll be online shortly. Let's have Diane join us again. Let's see here. Thanks, everybody, for hanging tight with us. <laughs> let's see let's get those dog names in there what healthy spot are you guys repping hello hello looks like you got some fans august everyone's here for you bud All right, well, let's see. Let's try and see if we can connect with our friends at Equilibria. And then if not, we'll, we'll, we'll go with the flow. We'll figure it out. Let's see here. Um, okay, let me try one more time with Diane. Sorry, guys. George and Biggie, Los Feliz. That's my former store. Marina Del Rey, hi, Scarlett. Actually, the first store that I worked at. Mm -hmm. Hi, D-O-G. All right. Thank you, wonderful people, for all your support through the technical difficulties and an entire pandemic. We appreciate it. Hey, Chewy at Santa Monica. August used to go to daycare in downtown LA. All right, 
we're going to see who we can get online first, and then we'll go from there. We've also got um, a couple of questions from Instagram that we'll be going over as well. So for those of you who submitted, thank you so much for taking the time to do that. And we're joined by Autumn from Equilibria Women. Hi, Autumn. How are you doing today? I'm so good. Thank you guys so much for having us. This is really exciting. And, and he's really excited. Hi. And who's this? This is Inigo Montoya. Inigo Montoya. I love it. it. Yeah. <laughs> we were in a big... Uh, princess bride phase when we when we got him so <laughs> perfect i love that that's a wonderful name awesome well thank you for joining us autumn and thank you to equilibrium women for sponsoring our class as well um so autumn if you don't mind sharing just a little bit about yourself and what you do and um how long you've been with equilibrium we'd love to find out a little bit more about you oh yeah absolutely um yes i'm autumn and i am the senior manager of member education at equilibria it is a really fun job. I educate people about CBD all day long. It's, it's pretty great. I'm sure you can relate. Um, so um, I've been with the company for two, thank you, buddy. I've been with the company for two years. Um, I've been a card holder myself for three, um, but it's just a really fantastic company to work for. And I really can't wait to dive in and I can't wait to hear, hopefully we can get Diane back on. I can't wait to hear what she has to say about animals and CBD too. Yeah, of course. Awesome. And thank you for being patient with us and for joining us a little bit earlier as well. We okay. do appreciate it. Um, well, awesome. Are, are you ready? We can jump right into the first question. Do it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know you love to talk about Equilibria. So if you don't mind just sharing with us who, who Equilibria is. Absolutely. Equilibria, it's a science-focused company. I like to make sure that's very clear, but we're a science-focused for women, by women, CBD company. We, uh, he's done. Um, <laughs> uh, we offer a clinical grade, full spectrum product. Um, and we also offer dosage support, which is something that I think a lot of people who are new to the CBD or cannabis field find incredibly helpful. It's so, CBD is at this point, it's a little mysterious. There's a lot of information on the internet and not a lot of it is solid. So <laughs> whenever you purchase from Equilibria, that purchase entitles you to one-on-one -on -one dosage support, unlimited email support. You can have a phone call with us, whatever you need. We just want to make the products work for you. Um, one of my other really great facts about Equilibria, I think it's also important. We also partner with the farm where we source our CBD. So we are actually in contact with the farmers, the seed geneticists, the doctors who are out there. So we truly do have an account of what your product has been through from seed to sale. So that's probably one of my favorite aspects of Equilibria. I love that seed to sale. I think that's actually uh, a lot about what we like to talk about here is a lot of that as well. So I'm glad that, that that's where you're at now, and we're very grateful to have you here, part of our team as well. Yeah. So, um, like you mentioned, so there's a lot of a lot of mystery around CBD, and so we're going to kind of um, delve into that a little bit. And so, what are some of the benefits of CBD? Why even use CBD? What are those benefits for humans? Totally, totally fair question. Probably the first question you should ask whenever you are thinking about starting CBD. Um, CBD, it really works with a natural system in your body that all mammals have. That's why CBD works for dogs and cats. Um, but there's this system in our body that mammals have, uh, vertebrates, fish, birds, all sorts of creatures on this earth. And it's called the endocannabinoid system, the ECS. And really, it's a regulatory system. It's the system in your body that's in charge of homeostasis. So what that really means is that you know, our body, there's a lot of push, pull, push, pull with our bodies. You know, sometimes we're hungry, sometimes we're not. Sometimes we're sleepy, sometimes we're not. Sometimes we're agitated, sometimes we're not. So really what the ECS, its job is to maintain homeostasis. When we have a spike of stress, its job is to bring us back to one. Um, whenever we go through all of the drama of our cycle, its job is to bring us back to one. Um, and CBD really supports the endocannabinoid system. So really CBD helps to control the amount of stress hormones we release like cortisol and adrenaline. So really whenever you're taking CBD, what you're looking for is 
less reactivity to stressful situations. Stress management is one of the top three reasons that people come to us. Um, so stress management, we know that it can support sleep for a lot of people. I know it's really helped me with some major sleep issues. Um, and then, you know, physical discomfort, you know, in CBD is inherently anti-inflammatory. So a lot of people find that whenever they get a good routine, they stick with it. We start to see those really cool results where we start to see our body just kind of balance out less inflammation, less dramatic cycles. I know that's, that was a big one for me. Um, you know, better quality of rest, less spikes of stress. That's a big one. Less reactivity. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. Kind of and then, that is something that we do see commonly even with our pets is a lot of times the first use is going to be for stress management. So thank you for sharing that it works for humans too, in that sense. Yeah. Um, so depending on the situation, right? Like I, probably don't need or maybe I do need the same dosage for every situation. How do we work out dosage? Um, how would I how would I go about figuring that out? Such a fair question. And the answer can be a little unsatisfactory for some people, but really <laughs> it's personal. It's unique person to person. You know, with medications, there is a standard, you know, they weigh this much, male or female let's start them out with this dose and go from there. That does not exist with cannabis, with CBD, with marijuana, nothing. So everyone's ECS, their tone, you know, how much stress they've experienced in their life or not, you know, that can really change what your ECS needs and how much CBD you need. Some people don't need much CBD at all. Um, some people need a lot. You know, our members that have autoimmune issues, they do tend to need higher doses. Um, but I will say as far as like, what is the starting dose for Equilibria? All CBD products are super unique. The way that they're grown, the way that they're processed, um, the amount of carrier oils added, there's a whole lot of factors. So with Equilibria's products, I can speak to us and I can say that um, on average, our members take about 20 to 30 milligrams of our product each day for their like minimum, most effective dose. So really what I encourage people is to start low and slow. You can always add doses. You can't take them away. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, low and slow. And really, you know, with CBD, there is what's called a biphasic response. And really what that means is taking a lot of CBD isn't necessarily beneficial. If you take a dose that's just too big for you, you probably won't notice any benefits. And if you take a dose that's too small, you probably won't notice any benefits. So it's like, it's almost like a bell curve. You have to like kind of slowly titrate up, up, up. Then we find that sweet spot, awesome. If you find benefits and your routine's working well, you're sleeping well, you're less stressed, let's keep it there for a while. If you keep taking more and more, you're gonna start going back down the other side of that hill and your products probably aren't gonna work for you anymore. Uh, it's, it's a little bit of a, a journey. So that's why the dosage team is here every step of the way. We're here to check in with you, make sure your adjustments are spot on, answer your questions, all that good stuff. Awesome. So low and slow, that's the way to go. Got it. No benefit in taking big old doses randomly. It's just not really how it works. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing all of that. I appreciate it. Now, we do actually have a couple of questions that we did collect from our Instagram community. Um, so we'd like to go ahead and share those with you and see what information you can provide us with that. So one of the first questions we have here is, does CBD help with other things besides anxiety? Oh, absolutely. That's a really good question. Um, because I think that's what we see a lot on Instagram, on blog posts, on the internet is anxiety, anxiety. Um, but if you think about it from that more, you know, take a step back and think about it from that more whole person holistic standpoint of really what we're trying to do is we're trying to support your ECS. We're really trying to support that regulatory system in your body. So this is one of the reasons why you'll hear one person say, oh, it helps me with sleep. One other person says it helped me with acne. Another person says it helped me with my cycle. The reason why people get such dramatically different results with CBD is because our own ECSs have dramatically different needs. So one person homeostasis for them could look like getting a better night's rest. That's what they need for homeostasis. So CBD helps to activate that system to work for sleep regulation. That's a really bad way of describing it, but not super scientific. <laughs> But yeah, right. that's that general idea. 
And so, you know, that's why people tend to have such different results. Um, but really, that's, that's the goal of CBD is to help strengthen the tone of your ECS so that you can find homeostasis more easily when you do get a spike of stress or a bad night's rest. Oh, that's great. Well, that's good to know that it can serve many different uses. So it's not just fitting one person. And that's what we say the universal, you know, universal remedy. That's awesome. Thanks. Um, and so we kind of did mention this a little bit briefly, but if you can just kind of reiterate, so how often should you take CBD? Daily. We at Equilibria over the last two years working so closely with thousands of members, we can attest that we see the best results from our members when they use it regularly, daily, consistently. CBD compounds in your system, much like a vitamin. So if you were to think about taking a vitamin for the first time, the first week or two that you take a vitamin, you probably won't notice a whole lot of difference. Um, but like three, four, five, six, two months, three months in, you're going to start seeing that longer hair, shiny nails, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, so with CBD, it does take time. Every dose that you take, it builds off of the previous dose. So it's just, it's really important to kind of find a routine that works for you and stick with it. Awesome. Thank you. And thank you, um, everybody in the comments, just reiterating what ECS is. Thank you guys very much. I love how it's a community effort here. We're all bringing each other. <laughs> Google the ECS. Google the endocannabinoid system. That's everyone's homework tonight. Go Google it. It is so interesting to read about, and I think it'll be really beneficial in helping you kind of understand the bigger picture. Great. Awesome. So um, you keep mentioning dosage specialists. So uh, what what is a dosage specialist? If I get on the phone or meet with somebody, what are, what are we going to do together? What will they do with me? That's a really great question. So whenever you purchase equal whenever you purchase a product from Equilibria, um, mm -hmm. we'll pretty much immediately send you out an email that kind of gives you instructions on how to get started with your products, um, how to get in touch with our dosage team. Essentially, it's a team of about 20 women who are on standby to answer your questions. So you can either email us or you can schedule a phone call. So dosage over email does tend to take a little bit more time because it's a lot of, you know, kind of explaining, I mean, everything that I'm talking about, trying to write it out and explain it and have a conversation <laughs> It just takes a little time, but a lot of people really do find that that's a better fit for their lifestyle is dosage over email. Um, but we really recommend that you make a phone call. Um, you can schedule a call with us. You have a 30 minute window. You can use as much or as little as that time as you need. We'll chat about your products, your dosage. What's your day to day like? How are you sleeping? Anything that you want to chat about. We may adjust your routine. We might not. We might encourage you to give it more time before we make an adjustment. Um, but then after the call is over, we will send you a follow-up email with everything that you that we talked about your routine adjustments all that good stuff maybe even some good blog posts that we thought of i i always like to send my gals <laughs> blog posts that i think that they'll enjoy um and then a week or two ish later we'll check back in and just make sure that the adjustment that we gave you was good and working for you or not and maybe we'll keep chatting um and then we check in with you periodically throughout the year so um it's a really cool relationship because we aren't salespeople. We are not commissioned at all. We are an education team. We can always help adjust your subscription or place an order for you. That's not a problem. But, you know, really our goal is to empower our members through education so that they can feel comfortable and confident using their own products. That's awesome. So basically what you're telling me is they're my new best friend. <laughs> yes. Yes. I awesome. mean, pretty much. I've made some pretty yeah. good friends <laughs> over the phone. That's pretty good. Yeah. And community is at the core of what we all do. So that's awesome to hear that you guys feel like you're coming from an education standpoint. I definitely identify with that. Absolutely. Awesome. And anyone who subscribes with us, you can, um, it's exclusive. You have to be a subscriber for it, but we do have a Facebook group that's just for EQ subscribers. So we continue that community, like you were saying. Oh, great. So there's a Facebook group that you can also join then as well for, for that. Awesome. If you're a subscriber. Oh, it's one of our benefits. Yeah. Yeah. now. <laughs> Awesome. Wonderful. And so um, another question we got from our community here is, can CBD help with sleep? Mm. This is such a cool one. I think that there is a general misconception that CBD makes me sleepy. And mm. so a lot of people get nervous to use it in the daytime. So 
for those of you who maybe joined a little late, we were talking about the ECS, the endocannabinoid system, Cliff Notes version. It's a regulatory system in your body. It's connected to every other function in your body to make sure that you're at homeostasis, to make sure that you're still living and breathing and alive. Um, so the ECS, it's connected to your mood, your digestive system, your reproductive system, your circadian rhythm, like sleep. So here's how that works. Whenever you take a larger dose at bedtime, that can have a sedative effect because that CBD dose is helping to amplify the properties, the sleep chemicals that are already in your body, like your own melatonin. All of us, we make this gorgeous melatonin in our bodies all the time and it gets amplified when the sun goes down. So then you take that CBD dose and it kind of amplifies that melatonin and that's what causes the sedative effect. So. If you were to take a little bit smaller dose in the daytime, a lot of our members actually find that CBD in the daytime can be energizing and focusing, which is so cool. I know that that's the, that's the jam for me. I use a smaller dose in the daytime and then I'll take a larger dose for bedtime. That's what I do. Wow, that's actually great. You just really made a lot of things click in my head just now when you said about nighttime and the melatonin and all of that. That's I'm definitely going to take notes after this. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Well, if I could just add one little thing, this is just like a little extra Ooh. tidbit for everyone who's on. Um, we've actually found, uh, one of our pharmacists brought this up. We also have pharmacists on our staff. So if you ever have medication interactions that you want to talk to a professional about, we do have folks who you can talk to about your meds. Um, but one of our pharmacists was mentioning as far as CBD and sleep goes, or just sleep in general, this is a good sleep hygiene trick. Um, your body is the most light sensitive about 10 to 15 minutes after you wake up. So if you can like put your face in the sun or go drink your coffee outside and let that real vitamin D hit you, that actually helps to trigger your melatonin release at a more appropriate time later on in the day. Oh, that's a great tip. And I know that another great way to manage stress is getting proper sleep. So that's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, we have two more questions from the from the Instagram community that we received. So um, the la second to last one is: What are full spectrum products? Great question. There's so many different types of CBD products on the market. You've got isolate, broad spectrum, and full spectrum. Uh, full spectrum is. Basically, that means that the product has a full spectrum of cannabinoids, terpenes, and other beneficial properties that are naturally occurring in the hemp plant. It's not just CBD. It's actually CBD, CBG, CBN, all these other really cool. The hemp or marijuana plant actually has over 500 different chemical compounds that make up its structure. And like a red bell pepper has like five. So CBD, no. <laughs> hemp, it really is hemp marijuana. It really is what's called a super plant. So out of all 500 of those chemical compounds in the plant, full spectrum means that they have crammed as many of those as they possibly can into the product. <laughs> Typically it's about three to four to five cannabinoids um, just because they're very sensitive. They're easily destroyed in the processing process. Um, but basically a full spectrum product has as many cannabinoids as terpenes as possible and a little THC and that little tiny amount of THC helps to induce the entourage effect, the ensemble effect, so that mm -hmm. all of those properties, all of those really awesome cannabinoids and terpenes, they're all amplifying each other's properties. They're working synergistically. So instead of one plus one equals two, it's like one plus one equals four, six, um, as opposed to a broad spectrum product, which may have several cannabinoids and terpenes, but there's no THC. THC is kind of bossy and it tells the other cannabinoids and terpenes what to do and, and how to function in the body. It really helps to bind to our receptors and it's kind of communicating for the CBD into our body. THC is important. Even that tiny little trace amount, federally legal amount of THC in a product is 0.3% THC. It's so small. It's such a small amount, but it's enough to really get those benefits of the full spectrum product. Um, Isolate is exactly what it sounds like. It's literally just CBD out of all 500 chemicals. It's just CBD all by itself. I always equate it to like, if you think of a soccer team, full spectrum is the whole team and THC, the coach. Everyone's on the field. We're probably going to win the game. Broad spectrum is like having the team on the field, but you don't have a coach. So you're just kind of like 
making up up as you go. It's probably not going to go great. It <laughs> is what it is. Um, an isolate is truly like you only have a goalie on the field. That's it. They might be able to do a little defense, but we're not going to win the game. So that's probably the best way I can describe it. But full spectrum products, they're really important. Um, they get the best benefits, really. Um, that's why you see like isolate products might have like 3000 milligrams of CBD, but only cost 30 bucks. Eh, it's probably not worth your time. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's amazing. So there's full spectrum, broad spectrum, isolate. That's amazing that there's so many different things out there. So yeah, thank you for sharing that. Yeah. And then lastly, um, so we have a question here about product. So what is the difference between taking daily drops and soft gels? Fantastic question. So we have, um, we actually have daily drops, soft gels, and um, a new rapid calming melt. Those are all our internal ingestible products. Um, the soft gels that we carry and the CBD drops that we carry are both the, are both actually the same it's the same oil. It's all the same product, just different delivery systems. So think about the drops as a faster acting tool. Um, those tend to absorb within like 10, 30 minutes and they last for around four to six hours. Kind of depends on your metabolism. And then the soft gel, its job is to basically like protect that oil until you get to, until it gets to your digestive system. Then it breaks apart and releases. And then it's a slow, steady drip of CBD in your system for like six to eight hours. So here's an example of how you might use them together. Um, if you are someone who wakes up in the morning and it's just like, you're immediately stressed. There are like, there's a hundred things to do. Your mind wakes up racing you might want to try a full dropper right when you wake up in the morning, half to a full dropper. We'll play around with it. Um, but we'll start with a dose like right there in the morning to just immediately kind of get your day going right. If you find that you tend to have a little afternoon to evening stress, we call it the transitional moment. Um, a lot of our members that have young kids, there's dinner time, bath time, bedtimes, just a lot of chaos. A lunchtime soft gel can actually be a really great preventative for that time of day. You take it around one, it kicks in around three and then goes from three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you know, kind of like down through bedtime. Um, and then we also have the rapid calming melts. Those are one of our newest products. The rapid calming melts are not meant for daily and consistent use because the onset is really fast and they don't last for too awful long. They're really meant for those bursts of stress. Like I need help immediately. Um, there's a 15 count available. You pop it under your tongue. It has this really nice light mint flavor. Um, they're really great. So we've got a few different options. Cool. And you know, for those of you guys who are RSVP for the event, there is a 25% off um, offer that we will be sharing later after the event via email. So take a look at that inventory because you guys might have something that'll fit for you as well. Well, thank you, Autumn, for joining us. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us before we go, before we switch off with Diane? Yeah, no, absolutely. I can't wait to, to kind of hear what Diane has to say about all this. But um, I, I just want to thank you for having me. And anyone, like I said, anyone who purchases from, purchases from Equilibria, they all get to speak with a dose of specialist. If this is your first time trying CBD for yourself, if your animals tried it, but you have not, just know that you will not be alone. We're here to help you every step of the way. Awesome. Thank you so much, Autumn. Have a good rest of your 420. Thank you. I will. Okay. Bye. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody, for hanging in with us. We're going to go ahead and try and connect with our next guest here. All right. And I think, and I think Autumn, if you, if you don't mind, you can go ahead and pop off this one. Yeah. Uh-huh. Thank you so much. All right. Let's talk about some dogs, guys. Let's go ahead and try this again here. <laughs> Lots of really cool info, guys. I don't know about you guys, but I really liked all that information around stress management and rest and about getting sunshine first thing in the morning. I mean, amazing stuff. Here we are.
what were some of your guys' favorite themes? You can share in the comments and see what you guys wind up taking away as well, too. Right. We're just waiting here for our next guest. Let's see. So we're gonna invite our friend here. And for those of you guys who are um, interested in watching the beginning of the video, we will be saving this to our Instagram afterwards. So you guys will have access to that after the video ends. Yes, full spectrum CBD, that's the stuff. And I really liked Autumn's uh, reference for the full spectrum, like a whole complete team, including the coach. I think that's really awesome. And just as a little and just as a little reminder for those of you guys who did RSVP for today's event, we will be sending an email later today with the promo codes for online and in-store as well. Oops, sorry. And for those of you guys who are interested in working with the dosage specialist, um, please feel free to check out Equilibria Women um, online or also on their Instagram, and um, they'll be more than happy to help you guys out. There are a plethora of resources that they have to offer. So you guys can actually email dosage at myeq.com. That's dosage, D-O-S-A-G-E, at myeq.com. Diane, welcome back. We missed you so much. <laughs> <laughs> we always say save the best for last. So um, I think we got a lot of inspiration. There's a lot of people ready to hear about benefits for pets. And so the last thing we were talking about are your wonderful pets. Um, yes. Um, yeah. mine, mine is next next to me, walking around, chewing on a bone also right now. Um, he's been a special extra pertinent example for me because he was diagnosed with cancer several years ago and CBD has been a really major um, portion of his treatment um, and he is currently considered cancer free so he's a major success story and I hope that I can share some of that with you today. Wow that's super awesome to hear I'm really glad that that helped in his recovery I'm sure there's a lot of other people that are looking for similar support so I'm glad to hear that he was a success story well thank you so much for being patient I know the technical difficulties are unexpected but we're trucking through like we always do <laughs> all right so um all right let's jump right in so we kind of got a little bit of information from autumn but um, I know you also have your own expertise in the same in the same subject for pets so for those of us who have questions around the differences between CBD and hemp, what can you tell us about um, the differences or similarities between CBD and hemp products? Sure, and I, I do want to shout out to Autumn. Thank you for so much great information. Um, um, your explanations are really excellent. So I'll probably just be adding just a few minor things on a few of these questions. But to me, in in the sale of products for animals, the most simple explanation is that hemp is the reference to the source of the CBD that is used in the holistic hound products. Um, legally, hemp is defined as um, cannabis that contains less than 0.3% THC, um, which as this is a newer industry, I think most people are a little bit more comfortable um, introducing their animals to. Animals also have uh, many more receptors for cannabinoids than, than humans do. So they are um, very, very sensitive relative to us, as some may have seen if their animals got into their 
their product. Um, they can seem like a pretty unpleasant experience. So while I do still advocate for the use of THC with animals, it's definitely has to be approached much more cautiously. Um, so again, hemp is the source of the CBD while the CBD is the active compound or phytocannabinoid that's found in hemp. Got it. Thank you. I'm sure there's a lot of people who will definitely take a lot of information away from that. I know that sometimes for me too, I still get a little bit confused. So I always have to refer back to the little pamphlets I've got around. So thank you for sharing that. One thing so I would add, to, add to that as well is um, like Autumn was saying, when you're seeing products that have 3000 milligrams of uh, CBD for a, you know, a pretty low price, you do sometimes want to look at that and question whether that has the full complement of the various cannabinoids, terpenes, flavonoids, uh, fatty acids that are so beneficial that are found in, um, in CBD products that have their are full spectrum. There has been a rush to market with some products that are listed as hemp products, but don't actually contain any CBD. So when you are looking for or vetting a product for your animal and you are after CBD, you will likely see the word hemp, but you want to make sure that you also are seeing the actual CBD content listed and a safe dosing recommendation provided for your animal. So just a little buyer beware there. Yeah, always check the labeling. Make sure that if you don't know what it says, that you ask. Um, if you ever shop at a healthy spot, there will always be a team member there available to help you go through that information. Mm -hmm. um, you'd be surprised. A lot of great information on that packaging. Mm -hmm. um, so now that we know the differences between CBD and hemp, what are the benefits for pets? I know you mentioned that they do have a sensitivity level to it, but what are the benefits for them? Um, well, probably the main two reasons that people come in, the kind of most common benefits that people are looking for are stress, which can be anything from separation anxiety, um, dealing with former trauma, um, sleeplessness, like sundowners, which she sees with some of the older animals, over grooming, um, which is more commonly seen in cats, aggressive behavior. Um, and then the other main category would be mobility and pain. Um, that's the second most common request for, for CBD. Um, you see that more in senior animals or animals that may have had some injury. Um, but the results with uh, CBD for mobility problems are pretty remarkable and can be seen very quickly in many cases. So on top of that, there are many other things. There's uh, CBD can be a really beneficial aspect of a cancer protocol. I've seen r amazing things with uh, seizures and animals with epilepsy. Uh, many of the same things that we think of uh, for, for ourselves with CBD are also beneficial for animals for the same purposes. Great. Thank you for sharing that. And... Um... How would we go about finding the right dosage? I know we talked about for humans, we said low and slow. Um, how would we go about figuring out dosage for pets? I agree with that 100%. Um, I know that on the Holistic Hound products, the um, dosage recommendation is very conservative. Um, the general rule of thumb that they use is one milligram of CBD per 10 pounds of body weight. Um, and starting there is a, very, a place that I feel very comfortable and safe recommending people begin. Um, however, you know your animal the best. If you know that your animal tends to be extremely sensitive to supplements, medication, food, uh, start with less than that. You aren't going to hurt them by giving less. Um, and then the slow increase until you find that sweet spot. She mentioned the the biphasic or bell curve. More is not always better. It's, it's not better and in many cases you lose, start to lose the benefits um, when you go too high. Um, but I do also encourage people following that low and slow trend to also feel comfortable to make adjustments so that they can try to get the best out of their product and the best results for their pet.
Thank you. And so once we've got the dosage figured out, we're starting to practice, we're dosing small, slow and slow, and, or low and slow. Um, how will I know it's working? What, what can I notice or, or how long will it take? How will I know that this is working for my head? Um, I would say that there are, it depends on the situation that you're using the CBD for. Um, if you're using it for something that is clearly presenting, such as stress or anxiety, separation anxiety behaviors, um, uh, you may see those symptoms just alleviate. Now with, with chronic stress, I tend to recommend that people use the, the products consistently on at least a once or twice daily basis, because I hope to see the baseline stress level that is contributing to the chronic situation reduced. And that I believe can take a little bit longer. Now, if you're dealing with something like mobility, I've seen people come back two days later and say that their dog it, that was nearly lame was moving around again. Not everybody is going to have that dramatic of a result, but uh, the inflammation control that happens with CBD can be quite quick and very, very noticeable. Um, the, then there are other things that people use CBD for, such as part of a cancer protocol. You, I would not expect you to see a massive dramatic reduction in the size of a tumor, but I do believe that CBD is an extremely, extremely important um, method and tool for helping to support the body system, the endocannabinoid system, which is, as was mentioned, part of the immune modulation program that our bodies all have. And um, that is something that you don't see those same symptomatic relief from immediately. So it does just really depend on what you're using the CBD for. That makes a lot of sense. When we were trying CBD uh, for August, it was hard to tell at first, but then once we started playing with the dosage, mm -hmm. once we noticed that the things we were trying to correct or assess were, were, were changing, I was like, oh, so it literally is just with time. So I'm glad to hear that it's just case by case and it's just about trial and error. Absolutely. Absolutely. I used my first use with spread for CBD was at the dog park because he was, he's a pit bull. And um, there were just moments where I felt a little bit uncertain of his behavior. So he was always on leash with me. And I began to dose him with CBD before we would go to the dog park. And over time, his comfort level increased so much that in a in a matter of a few months, I wasn't even needing to dose him. He found that environment to be much more comfortable. And uh, we saw behavioral change as a result. That's great. I'm so glad to hear it. It's awesome when we find the things that can help benefit them, uh, especially in those small areas that we have, to, we have to handle every day, like socialization. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. Um, so we've talked a lot about dosing benefits. Now, what products do you recommend for pets when it comes to CBD? Well, um, I believe that the the Healthy Spot carry Healthy Spot carries the cat treats, which are a newer product from Holistic Hound. Um, I recommend these for cats. They are palatable. Everybody wonders how palatable they are because cats can be so picky, but the palatability has been very successful. I do also recommend those for um, very small dogs that it, that people prefer to use a treat for instead of an oil. Um, a a big differentiator for me is if you are using this product for anx anxiety, I really enjoy recommending the soft chew CBD. And the reason I recommend that is because if you've got an already anxious animal and they have them have someone coming with a dropper into their mouth, sometimes that's going to be an additional unpleasant experience for them. Um, even though our products are very, um, they're, very palatable, the oils as well. But in addition to that, the soft shoes are also, they use a CBD preparation that is water soluble. So it, it absorbs into the system much more quickly. Um, as Autumn was talking about with some of the Equilibria products, these begin getting into the bloodstream immediately without having to go through the uh, GI tract. Um, so when you're looking for faster onset, I always recommend the soft shoes. Um, for people that are trying to use some use this for a more chronic issue, you get a better value per, per milligram with the higher doses of the oils. 
and they are also easy to dose. Um, I, I suggest giving them with just a few bites of food, not a full meal so that it's being absorbed on its own. Um, they're in suspended in a coconut, organic coconut oil. So many animals actually will just take it out of the palm of your hand as well. <laughs> so there's a, there's a place for all of them. And it is, again, just an individual situation, what your needs are, what your animal will do. Uh, you know, if your animal's allergic to beef, don't do the, don't do the beef chews. But um, yeah, we are always happy to help you pick the right one for your, for your pet. So it sounds like Holistic Hound has oils, treats, powders. Sounds like there's something for everybody, which is good to hear. And I'm sure anybody at any Healthy Spot location will be more than happy to help folks navigate those options as well. Absolutely. Um, you briefly mentioned, and you briefly mentioned about um, how to introduce CBD and hemp into our pet's diet. What are some other suggestions you have for that as well? Um, the, it is, the palatability factor is, wonderful you know it doesn't matter how great a product is if the animal won't touch it um, it has been surprising to me with cats in particular how successful people have been in administering an oil um, many animals will actually learn that the benefits are worthwhile and i've had countless customers come back to me and tell me that their animal will see them pick up the the, the tincture bottle and come and ask for it, <laughs> including cats. And for th that one always surprises me. But um, so many animals will allow you to just directly administer. Um, if that is not the case with your animal, again, just putting it with something you know that they like, a maybe a freeze-dried treat that's stronger tasting and might also soak up some of the oil is usually an easy way to do that. Um, and if that's just not possible and you have to put it with a larger meal again there's no negative effect it's just not going to be absorbed as quickly and completely in in the feedback that i've received the results are better on a mostly empty stomach so if you do have to give it with a meal you may just need to increase your dose slightly great thanks um now we did collect a couple of questions from our instagram community um, so I'd like to go over those with you and see if there's more information that we can share with them. Um, so we kind of talked about this a little bit, but this question is actually, I kind of love this question a lot. Um, would CBD slash hemp help with nervousness and short attention span for cats and dogs? Well, um, it can. Uh, going back to the, the ECS, um, if that is what, the ECS is needing, that is the area that is the CBD can assist in balancing. Um, I believe that there is a product from um, Holistic Hound that I'm not sure all of the locations at Healthy Spot carry, but it is a CBG. Um, and I have seen, uh, was the question about nervousness and focus? Yeah, it was about um, if it helps with nervousness and short attention span. Short attention span. So if if you are near the North Berkeley store or would like us to ship this to you, it is a product that we carry at the North Berkeley store. The CBG I have found to be much more effective for those types of issues. It's more of a focusing uh, a focusing result, um, and I do think that there are some really interesting, exciting possibilities with the CBG, um, which is just another phytocannabinoid found in the, found in hemp cannabis. And uh, to just confirm, we do at all Healthy Spot locations, we should have CBG available. Oh, and, if we don't, and if we don't have it in stock or available, we can work out trying to find that for folks. Yes, who might and, and I'm always happy to take calls from anywhere about with questions about the CBG because it does have some other unique benefits. Thanks. Awesome. Um, how would I know? The other question that we have is how would I know if my pet needs this stuff, the CBD oils or the CBD products? Well, if you're, if you're, I think that most senior pets can, can benefit. Um, there was a study done a few years back with cats that um, a, a group of cats was observed in a room and then and filmed without people there. No people, it was like a double-sided glass. 
And what they found is that when animals, when the cats weren't being watched, they demonstrated much higher levels of arthritis pain and mobility issues than they did mm -hmm. when people um, were present. Um, and this is just one of those unfortunate natural processes of age is inflammation, stiffness of, in the joints, arthritis in some cases. Um, dogs often will develop knee and um, CCL issues. And so I think that most senior pets can benefit. I also think that there are neurological, neuroprotective benefits of CBD. Um, if Most people come when there are clear symptoms that they are wanting help with. Um, but most, if I was to put a one broad category out there about who could benefit from this, it would be the senior, the senior group. Awesome. And um, another question that we had is, can CBD help dogs who experience seizures? Yes. Um, in my experience, I have seen, I have seen results with that. I'm always very cautious not to say that it will cure your dog of its seizures. Um, every animal is unique as every human is unique. Um, and I, especially with a condition such as epilepsy or seizures, I always really encourage um, that this is shared with veterinarians um, because in many cases there are medications involved um, already or maybe in the future. I always think it's easier to try CBD for seizures before there are medications involved, but um, that's not always an option. Um, that said, uh, Holistic Hound worked for some time with a local vet who is a huge proponent of CBD um, and cannabis for animals. And he did monitor quite a few of his patients um, with seizures and did see positive results. Positive results, I've seen them with my customers. I've seen reduction of seizures and in some cases, near complete elimination of seizures. But that is not an across the board thing. Um, it's just case by case. And as we talked about the low and slow introduction, I feel especially strongly about that in the case of uh, uh, seizures. Thanks, awesome. And then uh, next question we have is from a cat owner. My cat has severe anxiety over grooms and rips herself open until she's raw. Can CBD help? I believe that it can. Um, I, when we first started selling Holistic Hound CBD products, I anticipated that we would have a few cat customers here and there. We have huge numbers of cat customers, far, far beyond what I expected to see. And many, there are many, unfortunately, over groomers and neurotic, neurotic kitties out there. Um, I have seen this be very effective. People do often need to play with the dosage and, and find what um, is right for your cat. But I think it is absolutely worth a try. I agree. I do think that that is worth a try if your kitty's experiencing that. Um, Another question that we have, and it's actually our last one from our Instagram community, can CBD replace chondroitin? Oh, I like this question. Um, before I had a CBD um, as a product that was at my disposal to recommend to my customers, my favorite category of supplements were joint supplements. Still is one of my favorite because I feel like you can see some of the most beneficial impact from them. Um, I do not believe that CBD replaces chondroitin because they do different things. Supplemental chondroitin helps maintain, repair, and protect um, cartilage in, in the joints. Um, and that is not a function of CBD, to my knowledge. Um, but the two work together extremely well. Um, uh, the CBD for inflammation control um, and the chondroitin, which is usually also paired with glucosamine, um, I that is that is a double hitter, wonderful combination that I recommend for any any dog that's experiencing any uh, mobility issue that is known to be joint related. Awesome, that's that's really good to hear. So it sounds like CBD would be a good complement to very complementary. Great. 
Awesome. Well, those are all the questions we have from our Instagram community. Thank you for joining us, Diane, and for being patient with the whole technical difficulties. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to share with our community out there? Anything else that you just want to mention? Um, I, you know, thank, thank you for having me on here. This is my first Instagram live. So thank you for bearing with me, everybody. And um, I really do believe in these products. I think they're, they've helped animals tremendously in this, in the amount of time that I've worked with them. And, and as long as you are purchasing a product that you can vouch for the, the quality and the sourcing and the potency, and you know that it's been tested, um, appropriately i i can't say enough how much i recommend recommend giving it a try it can really really make some major major positive impacts for your pet awesome well thank you so much it was an honor and a privilege to get some tips and info about cbd for pets and uh thank you so much for for coming on my pleasure all right have a good rest of your day bye bye, bye. Thank you guys so much to everybody who joined us, whether you joined from the beginning or joined to the end, we made it. Happy 420. Just as a special reminder, um, after the event, please be sure to enter for a chance to win our CBD prize pack with uh, perfect treats and um, products for you and your pet. All you have to do is post a photo of your relaxed pet on Instagram and tag at healthy spot and at equilibria women for your, uh, on your entry post for a chance to win. And for those of you guys who did, uh, did, did uh, sorry, for those of you who did make a reservation on Eventbrite, we will be emailing the promo codes uh, for the in-store offers and for online via email. And then uh, for the promo code for $10 off, any $50 purchase online on HealthySpot.com is WFH420. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. It was an honor to share this with you guys and be kind to one another. And hopefully we'll see you guys at one of the stores soon. Have a good rest of your day.